high, with the uh, weather getting a little bit warmer, you might start noticing a little bit of swelling in your hands and your fingers, and at the end of the day in the ankles and the feet. This is an indication that your lymphatic system is actually under pressure and would like a little bit of assistance from you. I'm Linda Emsley from Love Lali, and I'm going to share a quick, easy tip with you today on how you can help enhance the functioning of your lymphatic system. So this is the um, part of the body that collects the fluid that's leaked out into the tissues of the body, collects it back up and takes it through a system of vessels and nodules and so on to filter it and remove toxins, bacteria, other microorganisms, um, essentially getting it nice and clean to return it to the blood supply uh, back at the home in the chest. Um, but unlike the blood supply, which has your heart as a dedicated organ to pump blood around the body, the lymphatic system relies on other bodily processes to actually move that fluid back from the extremities, back from the, those feet down there that work so hard all day carrying around. Um, that it relies on your breath as the major form of pumping mechanism. And because many of us are shallow breathers, we sit in the upper chest and just take nice little shallow breaths, um, our lymphatic system really does suffer. So the tip I want to share with you today is to take a deep breath. So this is one of the lovely breaths that I like to do. If you get, I'm gonna to have to stand on tippy toes to show you. Get your thumb and your forefingers in this configuration. Just let the thumbs rest gently in your belly button. And I can't stand on tippy toe high enough to show you, but just letting the index fingers fall comfortably back onto your abdomen. And just concentrating on that little triangular section within that beautiful frame you've just made. And when you take your breath in, imagine that you're taking your breath to that area and you can actually feel that expanding like a little balloon. So you take your breath in and your belly expands in that space. And then as you breathe out, you feel that space contracting and receding back towards the spine. You might even add a little conscious push of the abdominal muscles there to just push that breath out of your body. So this is a really nice way to start your day. You can do this before you even get out of bed. Three or four breaths in the morning so really focusing on that region of your belly taking your breath down to your belly breathing in and feeling that belly expand breathing out feeling that belly sink towards the spine and you can end your day with this breath as well so at night time when you go to bed three or four of these beautiful breaths just reminds your whole breathing mechanism and your whole body of that vacuum and pump um, operation of the breath itself so that when that breathing comes in and comes out, it actually stimulates the lymphatic system to pump. Okay? And if you think of it during the day, you can do it during the day too, taking a few deep breaths and you'll notice that that enhances the function of the lymphatic system and it also does wonders for your nerves. I'm Linda Ensley from Love Lali. This has been a, a self-care tip on breathing for your lymphatic system or breath for flow. Thanks for listening.